Late Night Health continues with, I don't know where I came up with this, but the Dale Zone, uh, the Dr. Dale Zone, uh, Dr. Teresa Dale. One of those marathons over the weekend, weekend probably. It yeah. must have been uh, as we, we begin our... Uh, our, our journey into 2017. Can you believe that? Amazing. Isn't it's it? amazing. I love it. Yeah, I do too. I mean, considering the alternative, right? Yes, the alternative is, is not too happy. But no. moving into 2017 is just joyful. It is joyful. And uh, I hope you had a good uh, holiday yourself. I did. It was a quiet holiday. I did a lot of... Um, uh, meditation and and all of the things that you would think of doing to usher in the new you, the new year, the new resolutions, things you want to change, things you want to make happen, and all of the things that I want to do to help humanity. That's mostly, you know, figuring out how to do that. Got it. Yeah. And well, we're going to talk now about educating people about strengthening their immune system to fight disease and empowering them. I have a uh, uh, my first thought about empowerment, because that's a word that we use here a lot on late night health. We are here to empower people to take charge of their health care. I mean, that's our that's our mantra. Well, everything works better when you do that, especially your immune system. And I'll give you an example. If, if you know people or friends or acquaintances who have been to the doctor, they're feeling great. They're just getting a checkup. And then someone suggests and finds that you have cancer even though you're feeling great. And then they tell you about it, that you have cancer, and then the all of a sudden <laughs> all of a sudden you start feeling terrible because your immune system goes right into the toilet. I mean, you know, what you have to do is take your power back. I mean, sometimes testing is wrong. Some t- there's so many things that are incorrect. I want to tell you a little story if I may. Sure. My, I, I lost my favorite uncle last week, Uncle Francis, and he lived in New Jersey, in Fairlawn, New Jersey, 98 years old, never was on a medication, wow. never took a drug. He had um, some cataracts, some vision problems, but he was happy and functioning, and he got a cold, and his son took him to the hospital. Three days later, he was dead because they thought he was 98 years old, and they would do a little surgery on his leg because they found a little cyst there. Oh, my. So, you know what I'm saying? So you see this kind of thing. You hear about this kind of thing. And what you can do to prevent being one of the hundreds of thousands of people that are killed that way and ways where they have either too much medication, too much drugs, or they were perf- some surgery was performed, you know, at any age that was really not necessary... And okay, that, then what you can do is to strengthen your immune system with the methods I'm going to teach you right now. What would be the number one thing to do to strengthen the immune system for both men, women, kids, everybody? Understand that all of you have a cell- cellular intelligence that can work with you to create any condition or any healing that you want. In other words, if you mentally think that you're sick and that you have a disease, you're going to feed it. You're going to feed the disease through the negative thinking that you um, tell yourself. Whatever you tell yourself, your body is going to do. So the good news is that if you tell yourself something amazing, I am healed, I am well, the doctors don't know what they're talking about, my body is stronger, they are not God, they are not God. They're taught that. They're taught that there many may be. Many of them are. Many of them are. But you have that essence of spirit in you that can make the right decisions. And so it's just a matter of being positive in your mind, not letting anyone take you in a direction that you don't feel comfortable going. What about stress? I mean, stress seems to me is what you're talking about. I mean, if somebody said to me, Mark, uh, we just did a test and you have cancer or you have whatever it might be, my, my blood pressure would shoot up and I would be stressed. So here's what you do. You find yourself a naturopathic or a homeopathic, better yet, 
um, health provider, okay, and you take natural therapies. I make a product called Optimal Multi Pro, which is the most fantastic thing for the adrenal glands because your adrenal glands make cortisol. And when you're stressed out, your cortisol gets elevated. And this is the worst condition that you can have is having chronic elevated cortisol. So you want to take natural supplements that have no magnesium stearate, no coloring, no preservatives, no negative flow agents. And that's what I have provided for humanity so that they can take it and not get sicker from it. You don't want to take supplements that actually lower your immune system or create stress in your body, but you want to take supplements that handle stress, that get rid of stress, that calm your adrenal glands. Cortisol has been connected with uh, tummy fat, right? Right. And tummy fat has been shown to cause all kinds of problems, cardiovascular disease, heart disease, uh, diabetes, and that's just two of the, the things that I can think about the top of my head. So we need to lower our we cortisol. Have, we have to bring it within a certain reference range. And the best way to tell what your reference ranges are is to do a saliva test. And I have invented a five-element saliva test panel that handles all hormones and all parasites and all food intolerances, and you get tested for 32 different things in this one panel. So that when we get the re- when I get the results back, I work out a program for everyone, and we take a look at a big blueprint of the body, like what's going on. Well, let's look and see if the person has parasites. What's exactly stressing out the adrenal glands besides? possibly emotions. It doesn't have to be emotions. When you say parasites, I'm thinking, I haven't been to any countries like, (laughs) like, you know, I I was in Africa, but I didn't, I went to South Africa. I didn't, and shots were not required. I'm trying to think, I haven't been to any other place and that's been over 10 years. You can get them from the restaurant down the street. You can get them from drinking water out of your tap. You can get them from many different things. Most people have them at one time or another and you can deal with them with uh, organic herbal formulas that I I make. So parasites are not a big problem unless you let it go. Many kids have them. They have pinworms. And many adults have parasites possibly from eating some sushi, depending upon, you know, I mean, you can see them sometimes in fish if it's a tapeworm, you know. So what I'm saying is... If I saw something squirming on my sushi, I would not... (laughs) You, you would know, leave. I would leave. You would get sick to your stomach. But, but I would. it's just the fact that sometimes raw fish, you can get it. Sometimes you can have it from uncleanly restaurants where they touch the food and they have hepatitis or they have different things, you know. So we have to understand that these things were human and we have to check and see if we have them. And wouldn't you feel good to know that you don't have them? Oh, and absolutely. You don't even have to think about it. Right. right. What else can I do to improve my, my immune system, to fight? I mean, we're in the flu season right now. Okay, so, you know, the first thing I want to say is that your immune system gets stronger from love, from feeling love, from accepting love, from giving love, from being a loving person who takes their attention and puts it outside of themselves. So many people get sick because they have so much of their att- of their attention inside on whatever the doctor told them they have. They think about it all the time instead of putting their attention outside and seeing how you can help others, okay? The way you want to be strong is to... Um, work with your emotions and your um, immune system gets stronger because of that as well. Well, What was the rest of your question? That was basically it. Did I hit it? You hit it right on the on the on the on the nail head. Uh, Our uh, guest is Dr. Teresa Dale. Uh, You can find out more about her at wellness uh, center.net wellness center.net and she is a regular here on our uh, program. Uh, Dr. Dale you know the flu we know oh, that there the are flu the right. flu right we've got viruses uh, uh, going out uh, we just talked about 
vaccines, and we'll maybe get into that at one point, you and I. I want to tell you how to get rid of the mercury and the heavy metals in vaccines, but I can also talk about flu right now. Well, let's talk about the flu right now, because I know a lot of people who are out sick, who are coughing and hacking and sneezing, and not feeling good. Yeah, yeah <laughs> me. I mean, I, uh, I, and I and it to scrub the room after he left last week. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Sanitize yeah. it. Right. I, I've exactly. thrown away half the stuff that was in here. Right. That's it's true. <laughs> so, so here's the thing: is that um, homeopathy is your best bet for the flu. Strengthen your immune system. Don't worry about the flu, and. I have an FDA-registered homeopathic formula for that. It's called All Flu. I have that now at home. You do? I do. Okay, good. So you can take that, you know, it's probably not, um, you know, I, I, I can say that the FDA... Uh, probably may not like me saying this, but that in Europe and every other country, they use it as a prophylactic, like we were saying. A preventative. A but preventative. that's not a condom, right? right. As yeah, I told yeah, you yes. before. <laughs> right. So as a prophylactic, you take it once a month to build your system up so that you don't get the flu. And it's just a simple homeopathic root remedy. It's been proven successful. Actually, I private labeled that for a very big company. And they got it in all the health food stores with my name on it. But it's called I sell the original. It's all flu. And, and you can look that up if you're interested in yeah, it. Yeah, wellnesscenter.net. It's Net. very simple. Why make things complicated? Get right. something that's going to support your immune system. And I bought some last week. And I have to tell you, I ordered it, I think, on Thursday. And I got it on Friday. That was good. Yeah. I, I thought you'd like Did to you know that. Did you take it? I have. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> See, taking it from the bottle and putting it in, in your, your mouth. mouth. That's the, you that, is the, that is the key. Um, in our remaining uh, a minute or so that we have, uh, coming up is Dr. Is a doctor, well, he's Dr. S doctor Spirit, really, um, is Robert Clancy, uh, the author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Soul. Uh, and we'll be talking to him in about, uh, oh, four minutes from now or so. What about washing hands? Is that still important? Of course, it's important washing hands, but I mean, there's washing hands, washing your feet, washing everything. You know, it's like, but I don't like the little sterile, uh, the little gel that you put on your. Oh, the antibacterial. Hands. I don't no, like that. No. I do like some of the cloths that you can buy that have a little bit of alcohol on it. I do like that, and I would just say wash them is probably the best. Got it. And yeah, use, several use times that. a day, every time you use the restroom, every time before you eat, every time. You shake hands with someone. I hate to be neurotic about it, but you know, I mean, there are certain types of, of bacteria and viruses that are um, on people. So, have you had a good time today? I had a great time today. <laughs> Will you come back tomorrow? Uh, uh, next week? No, we'll I'll come, come back, back tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow too. Uh, and next yeah, week. Next week. All right. All right. Go. Many blessings to everyone. You yes. too. Happy New Year, everybody. All right. Coming up next, as I said, uh, Robert Clancy next, and then uh, uh, we'll be back. Uh, don't go away. More coming up. This is Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. Experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've looked at other website designers. There's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. 800-489-8751. 800-489-8751. That's 800-489-8751. 
Attention users of the blood thinning drug Xarelto. If you took the drug Xarelto and experienced complications such as cerebral hemorrhage, gastrointestinal bleeding, or other internal bleeding, or if a loved one has died after taking Xarelto, you may be eligible to get a cash award for your suffering. Call the Xarelto Help Hotline now at 1 800 264 3150. That's 800 264 3150. To qualify for a cash settlement, you must file a claim before the deadline. So don't miss your opportunity for a cash settlement. Call 800-264-3150 now for a free no obligation consultation. Our call center is open 24/7. So if you took the drug Xarelto and experienced cerebral hemorrhage, gastrointestinal bleeding, or other internal bleeding, or if a loved one has died after taking Xarelto, call the Xarelto help hotline now at 800-264-3150. 800-264-3150. That's 800-264-3150. 